Greetings, and welcome to this debut episode, episode one of The Awesome Life Force. Yes, Awesome Life Force, episode one. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. As we begin this most awesome journey about the most awesomest thing besides ninjas. Okay. All right. Ninjas are pretty dang awesome. I mean, except when they're not flipping out, doing backflips and, you know, taking out entire whole towns. After that, they, the next best awesomest thing is the awesome life force. So, the deeper mysteries of the universe have always been considered beyond human understanding, and even squirrels. This is one important and almost self-evident principle such believers who make up all but a few of the world's thinkers seem to overlook. Everything in the process of creation proceeds from the simple to the more complex. Every mechanical or electronic device, regardless of its complexity, operates according to a very few simple and easily understood principles. It follows that the, in, that the universe should also comply with the same pattern, regardless of its near infinite complexity. This will be proven during the course of this treatise and this video information dissemination broadcast from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and awesome life force. Such a statement may seem overly optimistic, optimistic, and even blasphemous to many. The test for the validity of a theory or concept is its ability to explain and even predict a wide range of phenomena. The wider the range, the more likely it is to be correct. The principle and concepts introduced in this treatise more than live up to this standard. In fact, there is no known phenomenon not taken in stride by these new ideas. This reduces the probability to the vanishing point that they do not have validity. The power of the concepts presented is often demonstrated by the fact that some of the most baffling phenomena known merely serve as confirm confirmations of the truth contained in these ideas. It is to be expected that such revelations would make a shambles of currently popular and universally accepted ideas in conventional sciences. The trend of orthodox scientific thinking is diametrically opposed to reality. It seems to be the consensus that ever greater complexities will be encountered. The deeper one probed, the deeper one probed into fundamental causes in any event, orthodox theoretical physics is in a deplorable state of confusion. It has become a hodgepodge of mathematical monstrosities. Profundity has usually been associated with complexity. In general, the latter is merely an indication of a perplexed state of mind with a very limited degree of comprehension. This describes the mind of the typical academic scientist. The author is not likely to endear himself within the scientific community at large and it's equally improbable that he will experience any remorse or guilt complex over any unfriendly attitudes this treatise may engender. Fortunately, the members of the scientific community constitute only a minute percentage of the population. There are still many people whose minds have not been scrambled and ossified by institutions of higher learning, and who have some degrees of intelligence and common sense. <laughs> Such individuals can find much of interest and value in this treatise, despite the fact only a very small minority could likely gain a complete understanding of all the ideas presented. For the first time in the history of this civilization, or perhaps any other, the seemingly impossible has been achieved. The physical sciences, the occult, metaphysics, and even philosophy have all been combined into a unified whole with no sharp lines separating them. 
This makes possible a far deeper insight into each of these subjects than was available before. Such a presentation within one volume re renders this book unique among all the others. As such, it cannot be categorized, therefore it should create a dilemma for librarians with their present system of classification. <laughs> Poor librarians. All right, all right. It will be noted that the author has not been able to always supply the exact date and name of the publication from which certain information has been extracted. In such cases, he was faced with the option of either omitting or mentioning it. He always chose the latter. This, of course, is contrary to standard procedure and the rigid and unimaginative thinking of academic researchers. The reader can be assured that such information exists in some publication, even if its author at the present time can not put his finger on it. Inclusion of such information has added to the book and not detracted from it. The author has also been criticized for treating speculation and theory as though they are facts. To put it bluntly, this is a reflection of a mind of very limited comprehension steeped in the inflexible rules of the academic tradition. It is true that every procedure designed to expand one's understanding of the universe starts out with a speculation as was done extensively during the development of the new science revealed in the awesome life force. Female. Male. The, the awesome, awesome life force. force. Baby. The, the awesome, awesome life force. force. Robot. The awesome life force. Female. The awesome life force. Pro. In the following pages, however, if such speculations turn out to be as fruitful as those introduced in this treatise, then it is safe to remove them from the realm of mere speculation and consider them facts. It has been found that as more new facts are uncovered, more support is given to these speculations. The continual reminding of the reader that the material is based on speculation by the continual use of such words as probable, perhaps likely, etc. is not only poor writing style, but an insult to the intelligence of the reader. It is also an indication the author does not have a firm grasp of the subject matter. Despite the vast wealth of incon incontrovertible evidence which supports the ideas presented in this treatise, the new science outlined in the pages to follow will never be accepted by a significant portion of the scientific community. It is difficult for a rational person to believe that minds exist which can mutually accept two contradictory ideas simultaneously and repeatedly reject undeniable facts which are contrary to accepted beliefs. It is even more inconceivable that there are many such minds among the so-called intelligentsia of the population. Nevertheless, it is true. It has been the author's misfortune to encounter such individuals. Hopefully, such experiences can be kept to a minimum in the future. All right, folks. Well, that is just... Uh, a brief introduction to this new project that's going to be discussing in days ahead the awesome life force so i wanted to introduce that to you and uh, please hit the subscribe button leave this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for further presentations and information dissemination from the Ombanda new earth ashram for compassion strength and awesome life force namaste namaskaram